Good morning and welcome to Oxford Analytica video briefings. I'm Yulia Rusanova and today I'm joined by our Director of Analysis and Senior North America Analyst Dr. Tom Wales, who will share some insights on the upcoming U.S.-China summit due to start in California tomorrow. Tom, the two presidents are meeting to discuss key issues relevant to the bilateral relations. How important are these types of meetings? Well, I think, uh, Yulia, these kinds of bilateral summits are, tend to be overemphasized. Um, they were very much a feature of, as you well know, U.S.-Soviet diplomacy. And at that time, they did have a great deal of significance because there was relatively limited contact, contact between the top leaders of the two countries. In this case, contact is still limited, but there, the daily contact between high-level U.S. officials and Chinese officials is very intense all the time. On the other hand, um, this is the capstone of the departing National Security Advisor Tom Donilon's uh, real uh, Asia policy thrust. He's tried to help the president reorient uh, U.S. policy towards Asia. He's tried to strengthen U.S. alliances, uh, most, mostly along the Chinese periphery. Mm. Uh, China would not view that as a coincidence. And uh, he's also tried to establish the uh, emerging superpower relationship. I think it's still wrong to consider China a superpower, but the emerging superpower relationship between the U.S. and China on a slightly steadier basis. So the point is that there aren't going to be any obvious big breakthroughs at the summit on perennial issues like renminbi, dollar valuation, uh, or uh, various uh, ongoing and actually in some ways chronic security tensions between the two countries. But the mere fact uh, that the talking is going on and the fact that uh, there is likely to be discussion of the kind of rules of the game, um, that is, uh, understanding how to prevent tensions, potential clashes between China or U.S. allies in Asia, from spinning out of control uh, that makes it important. So it's the U.S. and China are not going to emerge from this summit as new friends. That's just not going to happen. They'll remain the kinds of strategic competitors that they've always been. Uh, but uh, it will be significant in terms of maybe dampening down the potential for the really uh, you know, out of control uh, clash or inadvertent clash that then uh, can potentially spin out of control. Okay, and as far as the midterm outlook for the two countries' relations goes, what is your take on that? Well, I think despite the summit, uh, and uh, our view at OA is that the outlook is not good. And it's not good for a number of reasons that have, uh, that, that really have nothing to do with how the two leaders regard each other personally. Uh, they're just sort of chronic issues. On the one hand, there are some aspects of the relationship that are likely to get better. The U.S. economy is slowly improving. As it improves, uh, tensions over renminbi valuation in, the, in Chinese trade may sort of decrease a little bit. On the other hand, the fact is that U.S. business and uh, the U.S. administration are increasingly annoyed to infuriated with Chinese cyber espionage. Um, they believe that China is taking an excessively aggressive role in pursuing some of its territorial claims in the South China and East China Seas. And all of these things are, are going to continue. Um, and some aspects of the relationship, notably over, over cyber, make it worse. Now, as part of this summit, uh, or ahead of this summit, it was announced, and uh, it will be confirmed at the summit, that there will be a discussion group that is established on a more or less permanent basis in, in alongside the strategic and economic dialogue, which happens twice a year, uh, on cyber issues. But the fact is that China is still not acknowledging that it is doing any of this in its official capacity. Uh, the U.S. government and U.S. corporations, foreign corporations, foreign governments, everybody else believes that China is doing it. Um, as long as this kind of mutual uh, suspicion and uh, incomprehension in terms of motives or incomprehension in terms of, mm. of corporate espionage, uh, in terms of motives of, uh, persists, um, you're not going to have any major thaw in the relationship. So the overall trend, I think, is more negative. With any luck, though, this, the summit can iron out the nastier bumps uh, that may uh, sort of show up along the way. 
All right, thanks very much for that, Tom. This is Yulia Rusanova for Oxford Analytica Video Briefings. If you'd like more information about our services, please contact us via our website. Thank you for watching.